Hi, I'm Mary Beth Walsh, and I was born and raised in Binghamton. I'm a wife and a mom of three children, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer on January 6, 2015. When you think it can't happen to you, it can. But thank God I had my faith, my family and friends that got me through this whole year. And because I had a mammogram and I kept my yearly checkups with my doctors, they found it early. Uh, I did have some complications on the way, but early detection is definitely the key to survival. I still have a battle ahead of me, but if I did not, if I would have skipped my doctor's appointment, like I know a lot of working women and moms have a tendency of doing, don't. That appointment saved my life. It was my yearly checkup. Um, my dad's mom had breast cancer and she passed away with breast cancer before I was born. So I, I had found a lump back in 2009. So my gynecologist was very active in having me have mammograms every year, ultrasounds every year, and it was just my annual exam. I found, I did get the news, like I said, on January 6, 2015, and on February 2nd, I had a double mastectomy because I was stage two on my right side and stage one on my left. I have a very strong faith. So I knew from the moment he found the lump that it was cancer. Everybody handles it differently. You can't let it affect your mind. You have to stay strong. No matter what they tell you, you can't let cancer win. I took control over that. And that's one of the things that I think is women and I can be kind of a control freak, but um, as women, we can control certain things. So right after my first chemo treatment, three of my long life friends, and we Skyped my sister in, and we went to my hairdresser, and my hairdresser shaved my head. And there was rules in that whole thing where you couldn't laugh at me, couldn't make fun of my head, I could make the jokes, there was no crying, and if anybody was gonna cry, it was gonna be me, but it ended up that I didn't even cry, my friends did. And so I was a support system for my friends during that time. But that was something that, you know, people thought I was crazy after the first chemo treatment that I was gonna shave my head. But I said, you know what? I'm controlling this. I'm gonna tell cancer when I'm gonna lose my hair. My advice to you would be don't skip your doctor's appointments. Get the yearly mammograms. If you find a lump, get it checked out. It could be nothing and it could save your life. My name is Mary Beth Walsh and I kicked cancer's butt.